All of the problems I work through in my videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. If you'd like a copy for yourself, just click the PDF link and you can download a copy to your computer. Also found on the website are links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones here on YouTube that are publicly listed. They're also members only videos. About 40% of my videos are free and open. The other 60% are for members. If you click one of the members links, it'll take you to a page that looks like this, says members only content. If you'd like access to that content, just hit the join button. Okay, let's jump into the problem. Let's examine problem 93A, variable overhead variances. You are going to find these are similar very similar to our labor variances. So if you're able to do those successfully, this shouldn't be too much of a stretch. Widgets R Us applies variable overhead costs to jobs based on machine hours. The company's predetermined variable overhead rate is $6 per machine hour. Okay, that looks like a standard price for overhead, right? That looks like an SP kind of a number. Uh, and it is estimated that each machine can produce two widgets per hour, okay. For January, the company produced 600 widgets and machines were active for 320 machine hours. The company's total variable overhead cost for the month was $1,400. We've got a bunch of actual info here. We got a bunch of standard info up there. We've got the makings of some variance analysis. Let's get to it. Uh, let me just move our little table up. Now you'll see this very similar table to our labor variances table. Oops, I'm trying to make it fit on the screen and things are going weird here, but I think we got there. Um, so we only have two prongs. We, we don't have separate prongs like we do for material because again, much like uh, a material, we, we can't store this. There's no inventory storage going on. So if we spend the hours we use the hours we don't need to separate them uh aq the actual number of hours uh that we worked or that we used our machines for uh whatever we base our overhead on and it's usually going to be hours and so what was the actual number of machine hours in this case it was 320 so let's use that 320 hours what's our actual price per hour well we know we paid $1,400 in actual overhead. We can figure out an hourly rate here by just going 1,400 divided by 320. Our hourly rate is 4.375 per hour, $4.37 an hour. Multiply those through, I get $1,400. Let's move over to AQSP, 320 is our AQ still in hours. Our standard price per hour, we would expect to spend $6 per machine hour. That's our given uh, overhead rate. 320, oops, missed the three. 320 times six is 1920. The difference here between 1920 and 1400 is a variance. It is $520. And we gotta say, is this favorable or unfavorable? I expect to spend $6 an hour. I spent only four. This is very much favorable. We saved money. We had a favorable spending variance. Favorable variable overhead spending variance. Let's move over to the efficiency variance. SQ times SP, well the SP remains six. SQ, we answer the question, given the fact that we produced 600 widgets, how many hours should it have taken? Well, it's supposed to take two widgets per hour, so 600 divided by two means it should have taken us 300 hours. So that's our SQ. Now I can see it took us 320 hours, so uh, bad news on the horizon in terms of the favorable, unfavorable variances. 1800 to 1920, this is $120 and it is un favorable and why is it well it took us 300 hour, or 320 hours to do work that should have taken us 300 machine hours so we were inefficient with the use of the machines that's why the efficiency variance is unfavorable this is again worth investigating both why were we so favorable on the spending side just fewer overhead costs what happened there we would want to know and certainly it took us less time to make the widgets than normal and we would want to know why so these are both things if you're managing the company you ought to be curious about hope these videos helped thumbs if you liked it and subs if you loved it. Have an awesome day, everybody.
Talk to you soon.